Hi, welcome to Peace Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to make this dog collar. Um, this is a really wide dog collar and it's actually quite a, a nice looking collar. Because it's so wide you're going to need a really wide buckle. This is one and a half inches wide um, both ways and you need that room because the collar is so thick you need that room for it to go through. Um, so yeah I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this collar. Now this buckle doesn't have um, a keeper so you're going to have to make a keeper. So at the end I'll show you how to do that, that little keeper there. Um, in case you've got one of those buckles, it's, it's only got a single, single side of the metal part. Okay, so you're going to need some kind of jig. You can, I've just got a, a clamp here that's been modified with a couple of um, screws in each end to hold the work in place while I'm working. You can use a piece of wood with some um, nails, whatever, whatever you've got. Okay, so first up you want to attach your paracord to your dog buckle, um, just using cow's, cow's hitches there. Okay, so once you've got your um, buckle and your cords attached at one end here, what you're going to do is you're going to go along to whatever measurement you want your dog collar to be. And then at that measurement where you, where you want to start your dog collar, just put your finger underneath those strands and pull those strands over to, over your finger like so. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your right strand and you're going to put that across all four strands there and then you're going to take your left strand just bring it under just leave those other two out of the way just for the time being bring it over that strand that you put across the center Put it underneath all the strands at the back and bring it up through that loop and you'll pull that cord out the other side and then you'll do the same thing with the left side you put this left strand over all those four strands Then you put the other cord over the top of that strand you put it under the back of everything and up through that loop and pull that strand through. Now you'll just tighten that up a little bit and you'll just open up these loops here And what you're going to do is you're going to take your other two colours that you're going to use and you're going to pull, put those two colours up through one loop. Oops, I might just open that loop a bit more. Put those two colours up through one loop and then down through the other loop on the other side. And you pull those colours through so that you've got equal amount of cord on your left and your right side. So you pull that through to the halfway point. Then you're going to start your dog collar. You tighten those up. And what I do is I get a piece of micro cord. And I just wrap that underneath or around those four core strands. And I tie that to the nail at the other end. And that will just hold your work in place and that'll put a bit of tension on your um, on your dog collar while you're doing. Now I'm just making my sure my strands aren't twisted down towards the buckle because there's nothing worse than getting towards the buckle and realise that you've got your cords twisted. So right from the outset make sure they're in the right position. Okay so what you're going to do is you're going to get this bottom pink strand and you're going to bring it up through the centre of your work and pull it out to the right hand side. Then you're going to take the right hand strand and you're going to bring it up through the centre and take it out through the left hand side. Now you bring these colours and they'll just sit down in the middle for the time being. And you'll take this top pink strand 
it's going to come down over these two strands and up out the left hand side. Same with the other right hand strand, it'll do the same thing but on the other side it'll come down over the top of these two strands, it'll go underneath and then out the right hand side. So then what you're going to do, you're going to pick um, one of these colours. So I'm going to pick the coloured cord and I'm going to leave the white cord down on the main, on the main strands. And you're going to cross these over. So the right hand strand is going to cross over to the left and the left over to the right. So I'm going to take this strand here and it's going to go next to these pink strands. It's going to go under and up out the side, just like we did with the the other pink strand. So now you're going to take the other colour strand and it's going to go beside these pink two strands so it goes over the top then underneath and then out. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your bottom pink strands and you're going to tighten up the work then you'll take the top pink strands and tighten that up bottom and you'll firm up the colour strands and you just keep alternating between those strands just so you get a nice firm tension on your work and you'll just pull those white strands through enough to keep to keep that tension firm so then what you're going to do is you're going to put the white strands up out of the way And we're going to start with the pink again. So the bottom left pink comes up through the centre and out the right hand side. And then you'll take the bottom right pink and it'll come up underneath that through the middle and out the left hand side. Okay, the top pink strand comes down on the outside of your core strands and it's going to come up and out the left hand side of itself and then the right hand top pink strand is going to come next to the next to the core strands over under those two strands and out the right hand side so now your color cord it's going to come down and sit on top of your main core strands and then your white strands are crisscross this time so the white strand that's on the right side is going to crisscross down to the left left hand side and it's going to come up next to the pink strands and you'll pull all of that cord through then you do the same on the right hand side you pull your white strand down and it's going to go between the, the core strands and those other pink strands on the right and it'll come up on the right hand side and you'll pull all of those strands through. So now we tighten up the bottom strands and the top strands and the white strands. So you just alternate again between this. So these are the side strands at the top and these are the center strands on the bottom. So you'll tighten up the white strands and just pull those colour strands firm as well just until you feel as if you've got enough tension to keep it even. So now your colour strands are going to go up out of the way and you'll start the pattern again. So the bottom pink strand is going to come up through the centre and out to the right The bottom right pink will come up through the centre and out to the left. The top pink comes down next to your core strands and comes out the left hand side of itself. And the top pink strand comes over those two strands and up 
out the right hand side of itself. So now your white strands are going to come into the center and these will alternate so you'll have the white strands this time and next time it'll be the colors so the white just sit on top of your core strands and then your color strands are going to crisscross again so you'll take this left hand piece of cord and it's going to go up beside the pink strands the other colour strand will come over this side and it will come up to the right hand side of itself next to the pink strands. Okay, so then we'll tighten up all the work. Bottom, sides, bottom and firm up your colour strands. Stop. Yep. Okay, so now you want to take your white strands and put them out of the way. And we're going to start with our pattern again. So we've got the left pink strand is going to come up through the center and out the right hand side. And then the bottom right pink is going to come up through the center and out the left hand side. The left hand top pink strand is going to come over the top of these two pink strands and it'll go underneath and out the left hand side. The top pink strand on the right side will do the same thing down over those two strands and up and out the right hand side. So now your colours are going to come down and they're going to sit on, on top of your core strands, your core pink strands, and your white strands are going to crisscross over, and your left, your left strand is going to come over the top of the pink, underneath it and up out the left hand side, and then your white strand will do the same on the right side, it'll come over the two pink strands and up out the right hand side of itself. I'll just zoom that in so you can see. So then we're going to tighten up the strands, first the bottom ones, then the top ones and then the whites and alternate between those bottom pink, top pink And then the whites need to get firmed up. Just pull those colours through as well so that the tension there is nice and firm. So now we take the colour strands up out of the way. Bottom pink comes up through the centre and out the right. Bottom pink comes up through the center and out the left. Top pink comes over the top, underneath and out the left hand side. Top pink comes over the top, underneath and out the right hand side. Okay, so the the white strands are going to come down on top of the core strands now and we're going to crisscross the colours so this colour is going to kind of come up through there and out the left hand side the right colour is going to come over the pink strands and up out the right hand side Okay, so again, we're going to tighten up the bottom strands 
and the top strands one at a time and then firm up the colours and the white. Okay, and just keep repeating that until you've got those nice and firm. So now the white's going to go up out of the way. Pink up through the center and out the right. Bottom pink up through the center and out to the left. Top pink over the top, underneath, up out the left. Top pink over the top, underneath and out the right. Okay, so your colours are going to come down and sit on top of your core strands and your whites are going to crisscross. Over the pinks, under the pinks and out. Over the pinks under the pinks and out. Okay, so we tighten up the work. Okay, so you're basically just going to keep repeating that pattern over and over again until you get down to the end where you put on your D-ring. And we'll show you how to do that when we get there. So I'm going to put the dog collar through that cord there. Oh, sorry, the D ring through the cord there onto the dog collar. Okay, so the bottom cord is going to come up through the centre. And I'm going to put it over the D ring. I can get that to come up here. So through the D ring. the right hand side and the bottom strand is going to come up through the center. I'm going to put that over the D-ring as well and out the opposite side. Okay so we do the usual thing over around on the side with the pink pink comes down over and up through that side okay so now we've got the crisscross with this so I'm going to put it through the D-ring through there like we normally would and then the same with this piece I'm going to put it through the D-ring down and up through there like you normally would and then go ahead and tighten up all the strands see if I can get my hands out of the way I'm just going to bring those colours back through there so that we can start the next part of the pattern without the D-ring being in the way. Okay, so just again just tighten up as much as you need to.
and then the next part the white goes out of the way the colors come down and we start the pattern again so cord bottom strand up through the center and out to the right the other bottom section comes up through the center and out to the left top comes down underneath those two strands and up top comes down underneath those two strands and up and then our white strands are going to crisscross up through there up through there and then just tighten up again as usual and you just keep going along with your pattern just as you normally would except now you've got the d-ring in position ready to to be useful okay so now the color strands Go up and out of the way. And you'll just keep continuing on with your pattern until you get to the end. Those white strands need to come down. Okay, we've got the crisscross happening there with the colour strands. Oops. white ones out of the way and again just keep following on with your pattern until you get to the to the end of the where the buckle is we'll show you how to finish that off and how to put a paracord keeper on the end so to finish off your collar just make sure you chop off any um, ends that aren't finished and melt those and you're going to need a fib to um, attach to the end and to weave through into your dog collar so I'm just going to start with my coloured cords and I'm just going to take those down the centre to the other side I'm just going to weave that through a couple of the couple of the strands there. Really don't need to take this through very far. I'm just going to cut that off there. And then just get your lighter and melt. Just melt that down there and do the same with your other colour. I'm just going to do a similar thing with the white. I'm just going to take that down. I'm just going to take it down there because these these strands here, these centre white and colour strands aren't really um, doing much strength wise. It's the side pieces that you need to make sure that, that they can't come undone.
Okay, so with your main colour cords, I'm just going to go down the sides here, just to make sure that they're not going to come undone. And then, yeah, you just keep going with those, just keep folding, or oh, sorry, weaving those in and out the sides, just wherever you want them to be. Um, and then I'll show you how to do the little keeper. Okay, so to do a braided keeper, you're going to get um, a piece of micro cord and you're going to attach that to your fid. So we're just going to come over the top there and just do a copper weave. So over, under, out through there, left side over the centre. So just make sure that that fits through there, which it does. And if that fits okay, then you can just snip those off and melt those, and then your dog collar's finished. Okay, so the keeper's finished. Just put that through there. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.